One or two of the times I talked about Morbius, people were like, wait a second, you're talking about how this would make problems in the MCU timeline and how it would cause problems with the placement of that film and what they're saying. Can you elaborate on it? And I'm just sitting over here going, guys, it's Sony. But yeah, sure, let's get into that. Okay, so let's start at the most basic. Sony couldn't even do basic math to make sure that Spider-Man Homecoming was placed correctly. Eight years between Avengers and Homecoming, huh? Literally makes no sense, but okay. We're not gonna go over that again. So now let's get to the big one. Let's get to Venom. What, what issues does this have? Well, first up, if you look at the Morbius trailer, yes, we know it's adjacent to the MCU. Yes, Spider-Man has been accused of murder. He's on the run. It's part of the MCU. It's as Amy Pascal said, it's adjacent to the MCU. The MCU might never acknowledge the events, but Sony's Spider-Man related, you know, films will. They've said multiple times, Morbius, Venom, they're all set in the same universe, which then places Venom in the MCU technically. Except none of that works. Like at all if you just really think about it you you know you don't even really have to think about it you just have to be like wait a second that makes no sense so wherever venom takes place like whatever year it takes place and i'm assuming it's the year it came out maybe it doesn't how did eddie brock who worked in new york or anywhere on the planet really i i don't assume he would be shocked when they mentioned that aliens exist like he was in venom he's like wait what aliens what hmm? bro if it's before avengers infinity war or even Civil War, it doesn't matter. The incident in New York, it changed everything. So there's that. There's also all sorts of other superheroes already existing and crazy things that a symbiote doesn't seem that far-fetched out of the question. Hell, you're in San Francisco, like Ant-Man, Giant Man. I mean, I guess you could say Venom takes place before Iron Man, maybe? But then that also raises a lot of questions and issues because still then Morbius has to deal with the fallout of, you know, the snap and the blip. So again, you're running into tons of problems. I think the issue you're looking at here is it's already causing major problems. Disney's never going to acknowledge Venom, Morbius, or any of that unless Kevin Feige has his hands on direct control of it, which Sony did not want. So unless they work out something and make it part of that, retroactively, it's just going to be ignored and Disney, as I've said before, ignores them. Sony plays pretend, kind of like the uh, Netflix shows did, where they're like, well, we can't put Avengers Tower in there. Uh, so um, just call it the incident and, and beat around what it actually is. And that's probably how they're going to handle it, because let's be real. It makes so many continuity issues that it's just a headache. Unless maybe the multiverse can explain it, but that's a whole nother topic. 